New at five, our heat wave has schools working hard to keep classrooms cool. Our Taylor Lumpkin shows us what's being done to keep MPS students from overheating. Happy that fall coming. Tyler Rush, a senior at the Milwaukee High School of Arts, is spending his second week inside a building that has no air conditioning in the middle of August. It's been hot. No, I've been a good fan, a portable fan. I sometimes bring like water bottles. District officials rented an AC truck for the administration building. They told us that that was because staff members were not permitted to go home in the afternoon yesterday like kids were. But the optics of it angered some. It was really upsetting to be sitting next to a rented air conditioned unit while we are passing out water bottles so that our students and educators can remain cool. The Black Educators Caucus of Milwaukee decided to try and help. We put out an urgent call for the community to donate things like water bottles, um, uh, coolers, ice, fans. In a statement regarding their plans to keep students and staff cool, MPS officials said, quote, facilities and maintenance are adding fans and cooling units to schools daily, and that school leaders have been, quote, handing out cold and frozen waters to students. A lot of the teachers, like, bring like fans to court on the class and that's pretty cool. Some parents argue that MPS is doing the best they can. But to beat the district up because we've got 80 to 90 degree temperature with 75 percent humidity, which is as unusual in Milwaukee as it could ever be, uh, is not the answer. There, there are things that you can blame the district for, but to continue to blame the district for things that are out of their control is not the right uh, way to address education. But community leaders argue that district officials should be looking at later school start dates. For the past three years, it's been an issue for schools that don't have air conditioning in the summer, going back in the middle of August, having to deal with unbearable heat um, in their classroom spaces. It's also time to reevaluate the two calendar system and really think about if having two calendars, early start and traditional, is beneficial for our students. In Milwaukee, Taylor Lumpkin, TMJ4 News.